a man is severely beaten right here, just across from the Capitol. We'll have details on that brutal attack. And that man is now clinging to life at UW Hospital. Good evening, I'm Mark Cain. Eric Franke has the night off. First tonight at 10, police say they were called out to Pinckney Street right across from the state capitol around 2.30 this morning for the attack. New at 10, the night team's Margot Spann has details on what happened and the suspects. Police say the attacker is 32-year-old Justin Brooks. He's been booked in the Dane County Jail and is facing attempted homicide charges, but police are not sharing his mugshot at this time. I'm so sorry what happened. I don't know what happened. For many of Madison's homeless residents, the benches and sidewalks near the Capitol are their homes. That's where Ed Fiorito lives. He was shocked to hear one of his neighbors had been attacked. This cop comes up at 5 o'clock in the morning and wakes me up. He said, what are you doing? I said, I'm sleeping. He says, what do you know about what happened on this Capitol Square? Somebody got beat up real bad, real bad. He has life-threatening injuries. Uh, there's significant head injuries. It happened on North Pickney Street, just across from the Capitol. A witness sleeping on a bench nearby told police he saw someone hitting the 61-year-old victim in the head around 2.30 Tuesday morning. We don't believe that there's any greater danger to the public because of this incident. Again, it was very targeted. Uh, and it was someone who was sleeping downtown, and there was someone who came up and began to batter him and specifically targeted him. Area residents say the incident hasn't scared them away from downtown. I don't feel nervous about coming down here. I haven't had any confrontations or incidents with anyone. I actually walked home from one of my friend's houses like really late last night, and I felt fine. Fiorito says he's praying for his friend's recovery. I want my buddy to be okay. He may die. He's clinging to life in the hospital. Investigators haven't released the victim's name, but say he's still in the hospital and hasn't regained consciousness since this attack. All right, Margo, thanks for that report.